Hey guys, what's up? On this video I'm gonna talk about what I think are the best builds for each one of the fighting classes. I have already done a few videos talking about certain classes and what it's my favorite, my best builds for them, like the Assault, Dutch 87, Dutch 25, I have talked about what's the best build for those classes and have shown gameplay of me utilizing and showing how effective it is. But now I decided maybe I should just do one big video and include all the fighting classes, talk about every single one of them, talk about how, it's, how I feel like it's the best way to utilize each one, what's the best build that can maximize its strengths, minimize its weakness of each class, because all classes have the, its strengths and weaknesses. And the way you, you utilize your gear points, your perk points, your specializations, the weapons you utilize, then you can maximize those, try to minimize the, 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 the weak points, try to, to make the best out of it. And also try to make it the best that it can work for both playing solo in public matches or playing as a thing in a pre-made, like in private against actually good Predator players. So this video here is just gonna be me talking about this kind of stuff, showing the loadouts, showing the builds, talking about that. I won't be showing any gameplay on this game, but I will be putting links in the description of this video of me utilizing all the classes, me videos of me playing with each one of the classes, and, and most of the time I'll be using uh, builds very similar to the ones I, I'm gonna be showing here for the classes, but it might not be the exactly same one because of course over time my opinion of, on this changed. Like I, I've been playing this game since the free trial, so it was like before launch, uh, before the official launch of this game I was already playing it. I was already in testing stuff, I was already in trying out the different classes, trying out the perks, trying uh, the weapons that are available, and as I level up I started unlocking everything, I tried out the weapons, all the primary weapons, all the secondary weapons. I tried many of the I tried many types of gear combinations, pair combinations. I've been playing this game a lot, so like I gained a lot of experience on it. It has you get experience over time. Your opinion started to change. So like uh, this is not gonna be the same build that I'll be using uh, on some of the videos that I will put link into the description of this channel of me playing or showing gameplay footage of me utilizing the classes but you guys are gonna be able to see by the videos that even then like my performance on the videos is is doing quite well with the with the weapons most of the weapons are gonna be the same but yeah the videos are, are we able to if you guys just go to the links in the description you're gonna be able to see that they are pretty effective the builds that i have in mind and the builds that i'm gonna talk about now are gonna be even better than the ones that i have shown previously in gameplay footage because I, I've been getting better, like I, I, I believe I believe that I'm like I consider myself to be like above average in this game to say the least. So uh, I know a lot about this game, I know a lot about the class, I have been practicing a lot. Not only playing solo, playing alone where you don't in situations where you just have to fight the predator one v one because you cannot rely on your teammates. But usually the predator player is not like a top tier predator, so it's okay. I can be able to withstand him to fight him one v one. And also, I have done a lot of matches of private matches against good, the best PC predator players. I have fought all of them. I have fought them in private matches. I have played against the best players, so I know what is the most effective way to use to utilize the, each one of the classes, the best way to fight those guys. So I have fought in, in both situations, playing alone in pubs playing in actually fight, good fighting against a good predator in private matches I have tested like everything I have like a lot of experience playing this game so that's what I came up with so over time my opinion uh, like I mentioned over on the classes on, on how to utilize them have changed over time not only because of the experience because I, I got better my my I has you get better in the game has your uh, aiming your aiming and your accuracy becomes better you started to focus more on other things like uh, back then I used the Bane a lot, the, the Yacha Bane perk, because it used to uh, increase damage. But as I started to, to improve my aiming, I feel like I was already doing so much damage without the perk that I, it was not necessary. I could just take it take it away and focus on the perks. But that was something that I I, start, I did because I got better, I improved my aiming, I was able to hit more shots. Like I did not have to do 10 damage per shot. I could focus on other perks to help me more because it was not necessary because the damage of the fighting is already so high in this game that you don't even need that extra damage when you, you start to improve your aiming you'll be able to hit most of your shots on the predator you can actually use the perks for other combinations so that's something that changed from back then I back then I used to use Bane a lot I just wanted to focus on just being able to do so much damage to be able to just get every extra damage per bullet but as I started to get better I was able to hit more shots on the predator I feel like it, it did not become necessary. Another reason, another thing that changed is that most of my, my videos are from before they added predator specialization. So back then, 
Predators could not do much damage to the fighting as they do now because they do not have specializations. Now these specializations can increase, they can increase their damage by a lot. So because of that, having focus on like every single class now, the focus is much more on survivability than damage. Because the Predators can do more damage. There's no point in being able to do a lot of damage to the Predator if you cannot survive his attacks. If, if, if you don't have enough HP, if you don't have enough resources to fight back. So that's one of the main points that changed me from the videos from back then. My opinion about the classes is mainly related to me getting better in my aiming, so I don't need to use Bane anymore. And the Predator specializations that make the, uh, the give the Predators the means to do more damage to me. So I just had to focus more on just surviving for longer, on having more HP, more, more resources to survive, than actually give me damage. So that's gonna be mainly the focus on all the classes. Like not only they're gonna be good good builds to maximize the strengths and weakness and minimize the weakness of each class, but also how how they're gonna go well against like the best predator classes, taking in consideration the the specializations that the predators have, playing on solo or playing as in a fighting. That's what I came up with. So let's start with assault. Assault is my easy, my opinion, the best class in the game. It's the most balanced overall. Like, you have a good amount of HP, a good amount of stamina, a good amount of movement speed, a good amount of gear. Like, it's the most balanced. Like, it's it's like almost per not only perfect the stats, but also the passive passive abilities of hip fire accuracy and bullet weapon damage. It can do a lot of damage. The, the main power of the assault is damage. Not only you can do a lot of damage, but you're pretty balanced. Like, you have a little bit of everything here. The hip fire accuracy allows you to hip fire better. Your accuracy is better, as I mentioned here. You'll be able to hit more shots without actually ADSing. And of course, with ADS, if you actually aim down the, the weapon, it's gonna be easier to hit more shots. But while you do that, you cannot move as fast. Like if the predator is attacking you, sometimes hip fire might not be the best option because you cannot move. You cannot jump around and try to dodge his attack. Sometimes being able to hip fire. Uh, better, it just it helps a lot because you can just move more, I try to move around, dodge the predator's attacks, and keep shooting him and giving him damage. And assault class has bullet weapon damage, and it just this helps so much. Like you can feel so much difference in regards to the other classes, and it's another reason why you don't even use need to use Bane. You don't need to like to use a perk that increase damage for the assault class because it's a it's already has a passive of 10% more damage and it just helps so much. So, like this this the main strength about this this class is the damage. You don't even need to like have, have anything else to cover for this. Like you just need to put the deadly special specialization on top of that. The assault already has 10% more. You put deadly, you're gonna have 10% more assault rifle damage. So of course, assault, a deadly specialization is only going to work for assault rifles. The other specializations here, fanatic. I think this one here is just very situational. Fanatic will only work if you have like a very low HP. So I I don't know. I prefer I prefer to have extra damage before I get close to dying. That's my opinion. Reckless can be very good, useful, but I feel like this is more useful in a sniper build. Deadly, if you're gonna use a, a assault rifle, go for deadly. Heck, reckless, I'm gonna show it that I also have a sniper build for the the assault class, and I use reckless because you gain a temporary assault. Deadly doesn't work for assault uh, sniper rifle, so reckless is, does very well because you're gonna get extra damage if you if you get attacked by the predator. If you get if you get damage, you'll be able to do more damage. Unleashed can be good in certain situations, but I just think that, I don't know, the, the amount of grenades or the grenade launcher in case of the hammerhead here can do extra damage, but it, it's just more limited. I feel like it's, it's easier to do damage with just the bullets. The bullets just easier. So overall, I feel like deadly is just better. Of course, the, the grenades, the grenade launcher can do a lot of damage, but they are more limited in able. And also, I feel like the predator can dodge them better. Like, dodging the bullets of the hammerhead is, is much more tricky. So. Deadly specialization is the best way, in my opinion, to maximize the assault when you go for the assault rifle. So about the assault rifle, hammerhead, just hammerhead. You guys are gonna notice here that the four primary weapons is just hammerhead, assault rifle, and Saul's assault uh, sniper rifle. That's pretty much all I use for primary weapon. And my secondary is always the second pistol, the 10-11 pistol. 10-11 pistol can do a lot of damage per second. It just and it has a very rapid. A rapid fire rate if you just tap it very fast you can unleash the full clip on the predator very fast and it can do a lot of damage this is more useful at close range like the, the pistol is something that i usually use more when the predator comes closer to me and, and for everything else i have the hammerhead i think feel like the hammerhead is great for anything for close range to medium range for long range it seems to work so well in, in being able to do a lot of damage it doesn't have a lot of recoil i feel like some of these other weapons like uh I think this one is can do a lot of damage. The, this two can do more damage than the hammerhead, I believe. 
but the real call I feel it's not worth it. it also the, the fire rate of them is not enough. I mean this one is very good for very close range but if the predator does not come close to you it's not enough. So Hammerhead is usually better and also it has the underbarrel grenade launcher which can help a lot. The mercenary also has this but you cannot you don't have like you cannot put attachments like the the uh, iron sights here as you do for the hammerhead you cannot put like the red dot that I like using and also for the mercenary you cannot put extended magazines so I feel like the hammerhead is just overall superior the mercenary might do a little bit more damage but you don't you you're gonna your your magazine size is smaller and you cannot like uh, aim you, you cannot ADS as well because of you you cannot put attachments on it I think the mercenary is something that was made more for the Dutch 87 class and it's focused more on hip fire because Dutch 87 has the passive ability of being able to do extra hip fire damage so yeah hammerhead is overall just the better plasma rifle is fun but it's projectile so it's harder to hit the predator it doesn't do enough damage hammerhead is just perfect the pitbull is has a lot of recall it can do a lot of damage at up close range but it's just not enough this one the fire rate is just not good enough it just uh, this they, they can do a lot of damage but i don't they are they all of them have something like inferior to the hammerhead like the meta of assault rifle is the hammerhead those two just don't seem to do a lot of damage they, they just I, I tried every single one of them and i just don't perform as well as i do with the hammerhead the other one rifles can be good to to try for fun but to maximize assault you just put the hammerhead on it and it's just gonna shred and melt predators away for the specials, I mean, you have the rocket launcher. These ones, I mean, I don't think that I don't think they're good enough. In my opinion, I don't think the recoil on like this 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 big machine gun uh, is worth it. Like they have, you don't have to. Of course, you don't have to worry about reloading with this one. But I just feel like I mean, it, usually like that's why I bring the pistol. If I have to reload, if I run out of bullets for the hammerhead, and the predator is still have not gone second in because in many situations like a full cliff of the hammerhead just you and if you have like one more guy shooting the predator a little bit it's gonna make him go second win uh just that usually it's an even if it's if the predator have not go to second win you can just change fast to the pistol and he, he, when you try to shoot the pistol very fast at close range uh it's probably gonna probably go second win which is mainly like i use the hammerhead for uh long to medium range and even close range but when i ran out, out of bullets i just and the predator is like coming very close to me i just switch the pistol and he, the predator is gonna probably gonna go second in the process the underbarrel grenade can also do a lot of damage you can like when you run out of bullets for the hammerhead you can just switch to the grenade launcher use the grenade launcher and then change after also the pistol so like this combination here is just pretty strong hammerhead is considered to be the best assault rifle like i mentioned the best secondary weapon is in my opinion the pistol it's just like the green tech is just like uh, it doesn't do it as much damage it has more bullets but it just doesn't do it as much damage so in my opinion it's not worth it not only this one, the magazine clip of this one is might not be as as big as the green tech, but you can load it so fast. Reloading speed is pretty good, so no problem. Uh, the revolver, in my opinion, is just too slow. The fire rate is not good. Shotguns are terrible in this game. Like they, they are good for killing AI, and that's it. For against the predators, they don't tend to be able to do a lot of damage, and the fire rate is not good enough. So machine guns are not bad. They are, they are. I would say they are fine. They are balanced. But they are like they are better than shotguns, but not as good in regards to damage as the pistol. Uh, minigun and PDL. I mean, minigun is fun. That's pretty much it. A point blank, it can actually do a very point blank. It can do some damage to the predator, but like it's never gonna work against good predator players. PDL is just annoying. Like you pretty much, you don't you cannot do damage like with this thing, but it allows you to be able to spot the predator as long as they come close to this little mine that the PDL throws and stays like uh, for a while this purple mine and if the predator comes close to his instantly is spotted it's really annoying like uh, i think PDL shouldn't exist in this game but anyway so yeah let's talk uh, this is how you maximize the assault in regards to the weapons and damage you just put deadly you put hammerhead and that's it and you, you, you just you and you have the extra bullet damage that's gonna give so much damage like even without uh specializations even before specializations because uh the specializations were something that were added to the fighting in last year in October so for a, for a long while uh, there are no specializations in this game this was something that was added later on even before the assault was already insane to damage and like it, then they decided to add the specializations to allow assault to be able to even do more damage so it, be, it became kind of overkill for gear I I this right now like for a long while I used to to bring medkits or able with the assault 
depending on the situation. But I have this, I changed that because of practice specializations, because mainly because of, of then not only uh, adding specializations like Stalker and Fervent that increases uh, 15 uh, damage to the predators uh, while they are using like pretty much any weapon, but mainly because of the long range weapons, mainly the disc and the plasma caster. Because well, the disc at the moment is one of the strongest weapons, and also they increased the number of discs to three, it used to be one. Right now, the, the disc can do up to 150, 55 damage, which is a lot. So like, it, it, it can one shot a south class. You can get one shotted by the disc. And also, uh, the ghost specialization is not that bad for melee. It, like in one one v one situation, you can you probably it's gonna be very hard to fight predators that use ghosts. Ghost gives the predator extra extra damage while they attack from cloak. So like uh, the predator is cloaked, he attacks you with a good melee weapon like the Alpha Silco. It does a lot of damage. So because of that, I decided to bring anti cloaking grenades. Again, it's ghost. All you have to do is to throw this anti cloaking grenades before the predator comes close to you with the melee weapon, and if you take away his cloaking ability, the, these grenades take away the predator's cloaking. And it gives them like a little bit of damage, like almost no damage. But it's mainly good because it takes the cloaking away and it's like it stuns the predator like a little bit. So you know, against predators that use ghosts with melee, you if you use this, you're gonna take away their abilities of getting extra damage from the ghost specialization. So no extra damage. So you, you take less damage against the the, the, the ghost predators, which is are the, the ones with the best melee. For the predators that use the best options for long range, which is gonna be of course the disc and the plasma caster. While the disc is flying, the predator cannot move, he's vulnerable, and if you throw either an anti cloaking grenade or a frag grenade at the predator, he's gonna get, um, uh, he, it's gonna cancel the animation of the disc. Or, or against the guys that just use plasma from a tree, if they are charging plasma, you can reveal their position by using the anti cloaking grenades, by uh, using frag grenades, because you're gonna get damage, you're gonna know that he's there. So that's mainly because why I, I decided to bring these two together. And the good thing about assault is, like I said, it's pretty balanced, so you can, you can bring a good amount of gear and also uh, you have a good amount of pair points to come up with something good which is my opinion thick skin and gearhead for back then i used to use for assault bane action hero and fast hands because it was mainly focused on in absolute damage so a bane would increase the damage even more action hero would make aiming with hip fire even even easier fast hands would allow me to switch between the weapons faster and all that kind of stuff but like i said uh, with the spread specializations i i need thick skin because without thick skin a south class you can be able to do so much damage but you can also do get get out so fast you can also what's, what's the point of being able to do a lot of damage if the predator can one shot you because that's what he can do with the disc like or even like if the predator was like using the axe with the ghost of course the tracking of the axe is bad but he can he, he can get lucky and hit you and he's gonna one shot you because the at base uh, hp the assault only has 150 damage uh, 50 hp i mean so like the disc and the plasma can, can one shot you, you can get one shot or like a headshot with the bow, you're gonna get one shot it, just one hit and you are down, it's over. Like what's the point of being able to do so much damage if some predator classes, the meta predator classes can one shot you and that's it, you're dead. So because of that I feel like thick skin is a must, mainly because of the, of the because this build here was the build that I made to, to, to fight the best predator classes, the best meta classes. Which is our Stalker, Fervent, Analytic, that I use the Disc, the Plasma, the Bow, or the Melee Predators that use the Gold Specialization with the Alpha Silk, that kind of stuff. So, like, this is a build, this is my opinion, my best build. Because, like I said, uh, Assault is my opinion, probably the best class overall in the game. And, of course, you, you're gonna, I'm gonna, my best build is, in, of course, with the Assault, uh, with the Assault class. Because it can do a lot of damage. And the weakness of the Assault class are mainly, mainly regards to its HP. Because of now the predators can do so much damage, so thick skin and gearhead allow you to to remove the weakness of not being able to extend a lot of damage. Because you, bring, you be, with thick skin you become a support, but you are a support that can do a lot of damage. So you become like you become pretty much perfect in my opinion. Like you can do you know you can not only take a lot of damage, but you can do a lot of damage. Like assault in itself can do a lot of damage. You don't need bane. Like you just you, you don't need to like push the damage even further. That's enough. So you just need something to cover up the weakness of not having enough HP, and that's thick skin. You put thick skin, and gearhead not only will allow you to have more of these grenades that are very useful against those meta predator classes that I mentioned, but you have three threats. Like you have 175 HP with thick skin, and you have three threats to heal. So it's gonna be hard to bring you down. So it's not only a, a class that is hard to bring down, 
but you can do so much damage with this this guy here. So yeah, this is my usually my main build. Like if I was gonna go against the best Predator players like Thunderwolf, Dan, Gasp, this is usually the, the class that I try to go with because this is the class that's gonna give me the, the highest chance of success because they're gonna probably use the disc, they're gonna shoot plasma from the tree and I, I want the grenades and grenades to cancel that, do not allow them to use the disc because they are very good with the disc. So I want to be able to, to give them a lot of damage, the weapons and the specializations, the class allows me to do that. I need to be able to take more damage, so thick skin and get ahead for the Astro Threats. Uh, and sometimes one Astro Threats can save your life, so yeah. In my opinion, this is the best build for a assault, but I still I'm gonna mention another build that can be very useful. But this is more something that I feel like it, it can be useful if you are very good at aiming. Uh, action here will allow you to hip fire damage to be even better, and old WFL rated will help you to take a little bit more less damage from the predator. I feel this can be very useful uh, against predators that try to go more close range because that's when you're gonna be hip firing, and it allows you to be able to do a more damage with all hip fire. So this is also a very good build for the assault, but in my, my I just don't. But it's still like I don't think this perk here is as good as thick skin to be able to get prevent the one shots. Like if you get hit for the disc, I don't think all the flat rain is gonna prevent you from getting down very quickly. I feel like thick skin is just overall better having thick skin. And I just I most of the time that I use assault right now, I'm I'm aiming. I'm not using the hip fire anymore. Like I usually I, I use red dot for the hammerhead. I use red dot. It just what I feel it's the best option, it just, it's just for me. Uh, it, I just feel it's easier to track the Predator with using this. Of course I'm gonna put for attachment in standard, in standard magazine, so I can have more bullets. Uh, I don't put silencers, because that reduces damage, like, and doesn't matter, noise, who cares about noise, the predator's gonna, if it's a good Predator, he's gonna find you in, anyway, and nobody, in, in the AI, nobody cares about the AI, you're gonna kill the AI fast, you have to focus more on being able to fight the Predator, and this barrel is just gonna make things harder for you to be able to hit the predator with this you need to be able to, to maximize the damage uh the the, the pistol uh the, i sometimes put the red dot sometimes not here it says that it increases the accuracy i don't feel much difference i heard people say that it decreases damage i don't know i some people say they tested it i don't know i i think i don't think it's gonna make much difference because with the hip with the pistol i'm always hip firing pistol i hip fire uh, assault rifle I usually aim down unless the predator is like attacking me I have to I like, if he's attacking me I have to jump or I have to move more and if I'm aiming I won't be able to do that so I keep the predator very at close range I might not I might hip fire but usually when to medium to long range I'll be aiming down I'll be ADS so yeah this is my best build for the assault class you maximize its strength of damage and you minimize the the weakness of not having enough HP this is the same thing oh wait oh, okay this is the same thing pretty much, the same build, same gear, same perks, but I have this Soul Sniper which is very strong, like it, this is Sniper is just so strong, and uh, in Assault it has, uh, he has extra bullet damage, so you're gonna have 10% extra damage with this thing, and it's just so strong, like it's the same thing, but it's a Sniper build with the Assault, and yeah, Assault, is, Assault class can make the best Sniper builds in this game, because the Sniper shots are gonna do extra damage, the Soul Sniper is insane for damage, the only down side of it is that it's every time you do a shot it, it, you have it, there's a, like a little reloading animation like there's an interval between it, it, each shot so like during that time like the predator can attack you or it takes a while you miss you take a long twist but every time you hit it, it does a lot of damage but i feel like the other build is better mainly because it's easier to use the hammerhead than the sniper because even though the sniper can do a lot of damage per shot it's much like hit or miss like if you if you miss the shot, it's gonna take a while for you to be able to do another one, and it takes it, it takes a little more skill. Like for me, it's much easier for me to just melt predators with the hammerhead than with the sniper. Of course, I improved my sniping a lot more, but still, like hammerhead is just so easy, and it works for long to medium to close range. The souls is very good for medium to long range, uh, especially for me, in my opinion, with the six x scope. I feel like ten x is just too much. 4x is not enough, 6 for me it's perfect, it's the right measure because I can I can attack from long range, I can attack from medium range. For close ra range, when like the predator is like right on top of me, I just do no scopes, like I don't aim, I just use it like a shotgun, you know? Like, and you do the first shot with it, you shoot it once, and if the predator is coming close, you probably, since you have to reload between each shot, you won't have time for the second shot, so you just change the pistol. That's what the pistol is here for, like I use the this, this sniper for 
long range to medium range, even if it comes close, I get a chance to do one shot, and after that, quickly I switch to the pistol and just use the pistol from now when the predator is close to me. And with the reckless specialization, you're gonna get extra damage while, while you're getting attacked. So let's let's say for example, the predator jumps on you, he, he gives you one hit with some weapon, and you just do a no scope, you just try to do a hip fire with the, the sniper. That, that sniper shot is gonna give like I believe 30% extra damage because of the specialization. Assault can because of the pass of the assault that, that's 10% more. So you might go up to 40% more extra damage with the sniper, and that's a lot. This sniper, even without any anything to damage boost, this sniper is already insane to damage. Trust me, it's hard to use to some players because yeah, it's a sniper. You it's hit or miss. Uh, it takes a while between each shot, but when it hits the predator, it's hits them hard. And also, like, when you're getting attacked, the, this pistol, like I said, it can do a lot of damage per second. Reckless, like, if you're using the pistol at close range, the Predator is attacking you, you're just uh, uh, unleashing the full clip of the pistol on the Pred. It's just gonna do so much damage with Reckless. It's just insane. So yeah, this is my uh, my favorite sniper build for the Assault. Both of those builds are great. They are maximizing the strengths of the Assault, the damage, and minimizing the weakness of not having enough HP. So also... Thick skin and gearhead for this one. It's the same thing. Just one hammerhead build, one south build. Now my favorite Dutch 25 build. Dutch 25 is it's like a I would say it's like a mixture between the support class and the assault class. Like it's not as slow as the support. He's a little slower, has a little bit less stamina and movement speed. You're gonna feel that he's slower than than, than the assault class. Uh, but, but he can take a little more damage. He has 10 more HP than the Assault class, but he's lower. Like he's in the middle between the Assault and the Support. Uh, and he can he he's faster than the support, he's lower than the assault, and he, he can do a lot. He has he is good for damage as well. Has lot, just like the assault, just not not as good. I think overall he's uh he's inferior to the assault. I think the assault is better than him. I think this is a class that I even mentioned to others on other day. It should be buffed, it should have like some sort of improvement because it just it feels too clearly inferior to the assault class and inferior also to the Dutch 87. And I feel like this is the Dutch that is using like Predator DNA uh, as, as a form of a performance enhance enhancement drug, you know. So this guy should be like the best class in the game, in my opinion. It's my favorite one. This is my favorite one. He and Assault are the ones that I've been using the most, both for the Hammerhead or also for sniping. They're just the ones I like the most. Uh, the weakness of this guy is mainly, uh, I feel like it's gear points and, and packs are not enough. I, th I feel like it's just, yeah, it's, it's like, it's inferior to Assault in both gear points and perk points. No, no, perk points is the same, sorry, sorry. It's inferior to the Assault in gear points. Like, in, and, and, and also the, the, the passive abilities, it has hip fire accuracy just like Assault, so it's similar. But instead of, uh, of the bullet damage, it has mud cover duration, so you can mud up fast and you can stay mudded for longer. It is useful, yes, but I feel like just bullet damage is better. Like, so the passive of the assault, like one passive is the same, the other passive is different, but I feel like the other passive of the assault is just better than this. And 10, 10 more HP, it's a little bit useful, but not that much. The good thing is that he also, you can also use deadly, which is my opinion. If you're gonna bring the hammerhead, you go with deadly. Leader is good, because it allows to your teammates to have uh, give extra damage to your teammates. But sometimes you already have another leader, so like, I just prefer that. I, I want to be the one to do more damage. I don't want... I, I'm, I'm greedy. I'm selfish. I don't want my teammates to do more damage than me, so I'm not gonna bring leader. Overseer is good. It's what I use for my sniper build, because it also focuses on survivability. Because that's the focus here, because right now, like I said, with Predator Specializations, your focus now must, should, should probably be more on survivability. You'll be able to take more damage than give them more damage. But uh, since uh, Dutch with thick skin is, gives me, I uh, already have like 185 HP. And since I'm using the same packs as Assault, you know, thick skin, I have more HP. And I have Gearhead, I have 3 Serrets. I think that if I'm gonna bring the, the Hammerhead, I feel like I just need a little bit of damage boost. I think I'm good for survivability. I don't need Overseer. Overseer is just... It, I use it on my sniper build because with the sniper, like, deadly is not gonna work with a sniper rifle, so I go with Overseer. Overwatch can also go well with it is sniper if you're gonna go for it for the south build with this class, but it's just too situational. Like you have to be above the predator. I just I just don't like very like specializations that are too situational. It can work, but I just I just don't don't need to. Yeah, also with the south, like the south already can do so much damage. Like I don't need. It. Like I think I 
a little bit of extra damage with the hammerhead is I can can be good, can be useful. But with the souls, like I don't need I don't need this. So like with the souls build that I'm gonna show, I use overseer so I can gain more HP as the mission go on. Like when I'm I, I'm like I'm fighting the predator alone and the other teammates are doing the mission for me. I'm gaining HP, so like as the predator is attacking me, I can use a Seraph, and I'm still getting, and I'm getting also gaining HP because the other ones are doing the mission. But for the the uh, the hammer the hammerhead build for Dutch, this is it. It's very similar to my assault one. Same perks. I want more HP. I'll have 10 more HP than the, than the assault. I'll have three Seraphs. The only problem is that I cannot bring frag grenades. I just gonna bring the anti-cold grenades because of the reason I mentioned. It's just good against the ghost fighters. It's just it it can it, it negates the usage of the smart disc. It's gonna cancel the, the flying of the disc if you hit the predator with this thing. And unlike the frag grenades, it's instant. Like you throw the anti -cold grenades at the predator, he's gonna it, it's instant. He's gonna cancel the disc. With the frag grenades, if you just throw it right away, it takes a while for it to blow up. Or you have to hold it for a little while, you have to cook it the grenade before releasing it, you know? So I uh, because of this, because of the of the lack, uh, having less spare points, and not having extra bullet damage, I feel like Dutch 25 is inferior to the assault. But this is the best thing that I can come up with. It. Like he can do that, a good amount of damage with deadly. He can tank out, tank a lot of damage. He brings the right amount of gear to be able to fight uh, predators uh, that are that are using the, the best specializations, the best classes. And in my opinion, these two builds here, the assault and the Dutch. Are the, one of the best options in my one of the best options to, to play solo. They work great for solo if you're gonna play alone because you already you you have a lot of HP. You can take you can tank a lot of damage for the predator. You can give a lot of damage to the predator, and you bring resources with three, like three threats, which can allow you. Even though you cannot you are not bringing medicates or ammo, you are gonna be able to to have three threats. Really helps a lot. You're gonna be able to survive for longer. The only problem might be ammo. But like you, you can like uh, you get you get a little bit of ammo. You might find an ammo crate. Like you cannot have everything. Uh, with assault, of course, you can actually bring a medikit. With Dutch, not possible. But you, you, any you, like when you're playing as a team, you have someone else to bring that for you. The problem is solved. Like the only downside of this is that like the the not having medikits or or ammo bags. But you like if that's a problem that you are only gonna have if you play solo. If you're playing in a, with a team, you're not gonna have any of that. Now let's talk about this scout. The main thing about this scout is its speed, its stamina, he has the best stamina and movement speed in this game. Uh, the, the weakness are the gear points and the HP. Another another, oh yeah, another good point about him is that he has more perk points. But in my opinion, in my opinion this scout is it's a very fun class to use, it's good for chasing predators. It's like it's a glass cannon. It's a, it's a glass cannon because he can he with the right specialization, it's because of his passive abilities of extra damage post sprint. He, he can he can do a lot of damage, but he cannot take much. Even with his sprint damage resistance, if you put thick skin, you're gonna go only up to 150. You can still like get one shotted by the disc or the plasma, or get down really fast if a predator comes at you at, with uh, ghost and the alpha circle. You can you can get down really fast. So like he's not a he he's not a in my opinion a very good build to use solo because his survivability is low. Even though he's faster than all, like the, if the predator targets you, uh, he doesn't have the same type of survivability as the Dutch and the Assault. He's, he cannot take as much damage. But he's fast. He's good for rushing the mission, chasing the predator if he goes second win. He's very he's very good for damage, mainly because of this specialization here. Do like as I mentioned before, the 1011 does a lot of damage. Duelist increases his damage by 20%, which is just it's a overkill. It's just insane the amount of damage he can do. And with the passive of pause sprint damage boost after he after just he just stopped running he gets more damage on top of that so yeah the best the only the best thing about this scout is mainly the insane damage you can do with the pistol i decide to bring the souls on here because like uh, and also you get you get extra extra ammo for the pistol so like i i'm gonna have so much ammo for the pistol and since the focus is gonna be mainly the pistol i just decide to bring the sniper instead of the hammerhead because i add close to medium range i'm gonna be probably just using the pistol a lot i just prefer to just use the souls with the scout you know, I just kind of prefer it because I, I feel like he, I, I, the focus here is mainly the pistol, and I just like I just I prefer to snipe with with the scout. But you can also put the hammerhead; it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty much like the same thing. But the focus here is the insane damage the pistol can do. For gear points, you don't have a lot. That's the, one of the downsides. There's not much you can do with gear points. You just bring a turret and flashbangs if you want. Then can can like blind the predator if you if you get if you hit it hit it with it. For perk points. 
uh, you can I bring it the same ones that I use for the assault, which are gearheads because I want three serrets. Thick skin do have more HP because if you don't have thick skin on 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 the scout, you're gonna have 125 HP. That's just too little right now. Like you're gonna get one shotted by some predators. But you have more pair points, so you can bring this one as well to be able to stand more. So the focus, the weakness of the scout is his survivability. I try to to minimize that by bringing thick skin or an OWL felt throwing it together. So with this, I might be able to not maybe not get one shot as long as I'm sprinting because of the also the sprint damage resistance. So this just helps me survive a little better. I don't feel like I need anything with the scout for more damage than the specialization. Like you don't need Bane, you don't need anything anything of that. Just bring duelist and that's insane. Uh, this this one is very situational liberator like you get extra uh, damage boost after destroying a camp alarm like you have like three camp alarms per camp and sometimes you won't even beat you want to disable it so I think it's kind of useless hush down uh, just extra speed upon killing AI like I just don't care a scavenger can be good because you get a you get HP by picking ammo ammo bags that the, not not the ammo that the the a killing AI gets you. It can be good for survivability, but I I just don't think it's enough. The list is overall better. Uh, this you can you get you get increased damage by weapons finding the effort crates. Thing is, you might not even ever find good w weapons in the crates. So like you, you I don't wanna uh, change the second pistol or the sauce to use the, to to for some random weapon, even if it gives me extra damage. It's not gonna be even the other weapons with the extra damage. Uh, they're not going to be as good as the Souls and the 1011, so no. Uh, for the Scout, I just bring one of the best primary weapons, the Souls, but also Hammerhead if, if you guys are not very good with sniping. Just uh, I like to snipe, so I just bring this instead. But the Hammerhead can also work well. You put Duelist to maximize the pistol a lot and maximize the damage on this class, and to minimize the problems with the HP, you just bring Thick Skin and OWU Alpha traded together. And you Gearhead so you can have more Surrettes. I mean, uh, the main problem with this build is that like you don't bring anti grenades, so if the predators are using ghost or the disc, uh, these two packs might help you uh, withstand the damage, survive, but you won't be able to like to counter like their damage. You won't be able to counter a disc user. You won't be able to expose a predator that is on the tree shooting plasma. You won't be able to uh, take away the damage of a, a predator that is using ghost. So I feel like this this build here. It's just not the most uh, most effective for solo solo matches, you know, because the other ones assault like you have everything. You have the damage. You have the the ability to take damage, to give damage. You have the tools to counter any predator class. But this one you don't. Like this, uh, I think the scout is better. Like if you have other teammates that are running assault support, this is more of a this can be just more useful if you have like teammates, in my opinion. Dutch eighty seven. Dutch eighty seven is like he's. Is, I would say like he's like a mixture between like he has a little bit of the damage from the assault a little bit similar to the other Dutch and he's like he has think he has a support he's, he's very strong he's he's a very strong class uh, he has a hip fire damage so like the focus on, on this class when I try to use it I try to shoot without aiming mainly because I want to get the extra hip fire damage and he has mud damage resistance and this is what allows him to become like a pretty much a support where you put thick skin. He has 5 less HP than the other Dutch, but because of the damage resistance of the of having of the mud, he's gonna be pretty much he, he can take more damage than the uh, Dutch 25. Just because of that. So I put thick skin and gearhead, just like I did with the with the assault, with the other classes, pretty much all the other ones I put this together. And so he becomes very tanky. I put action hero, he has more pair points than the old Dutch, which gives him a, a little bit of advantage because you can put action hero. Action Hero allows you to, to have a better hipfire accuracy and that goes very well together with his hipfire damage because you want to hipfire. With this class, you want to focus on hipfire to, to be able to maximize its damage or its damage boost. So you bring Action Hero to be able to do the hipfire better, to be able to take advantage of this passive ability of his. He not only any not only can he can tank more damage than the old Dutch because of the passive here, and but he's faster. He can he he his stamina and movement speed is better. So like he I, I feel like this is like a Dutch 87 and Dante. Uh, they are kind of like a pay to win DLC in my opinion because they just have like too many strengths and few weaknesses. Like the only weakness of this class is maybe the gear points. 
he has less gear points so like uh you only be able to bring threats in one type of grenade i bring attack grenades for the reasons i mentioned because of the meta pedal classes that, that this is very good against but that's pretty much it like i just bring hammerhead to maximize it at uh, the damage because the best assault rifle but also is night this sauce can be also very good with this one i bring the pistol uh because it's one of the best the best secondary weapon in the game and for perks it's like ticks can get ahead and you can put action here to be able to aim better like the only the only thing that old dutch has better than this class is the passive a hip fire accuracy but you get hip fire accuracy with dutch 87 just by putting action hero so like you put action hero they are equal and the and the his wait no the wrong one and his his passive ability of mud damage resistance is much it's overall better than the mud cover duration extra mud cover duration like even that old dutch can mud up faster and stay mudder faster this one just take less damage and be able to think take less damage is just more important and also uh amphibious kind of solves the problem of the mudding up because you don't have to mud up like this is why i bring amphibious reckless cannot be also be very good because if the person attacks you get extra boost but amphibious is just like you're gonna be always be mudded so you're gonna be always have uh damage resistance that's why i use amphibious and amphibious is is great for chasing predators like if they are gonna go if you like because you get so much faster in water so like to maximize the good thing about the, this the dutch 87 is that he's tanky and he can he, he's fast and you put amphibious he gets even faster so like i i just i i i, I use thick skin to be able to maximize thick skin and amphibious to be able to maximize uh his his ability to take damage and amphibious is also maximize his speed even more because if the predator is like running away like he has one second win and he is running and he's going through an area that is water you're gonna catch him because it, it, it dutch 87 on the water just becomes so fast amphibious is just maximize his speed so in maximize both his speed and his ability to take damage because you're gonna be always be mudded you don't have you don't have to like be vulnerable to the predator mudding up because it while you're mudding up you're vulnerable you cannot move it takes a time you don't have to worry about that you just have to jump into the water you are mudded instantly and you get extra damage so you're gonna be you're gonna have extra damage for most of your match and you don't need like uh with the hammerhead and the pistol and the hip fire extra damage you don't need bane you don't need you're already capable of doing a lot of damage so this class is really good you can do a lot of you can do a good amount of damage i think that not i i think that in regards to damage like it's gonna be pretty much like the same almost this, uh, close to assault but uh, since the da his damage is like relies on, on hip fire only i don't think it's as good as assault because assault you have extra bullet damage it doesn't matter if you are hip fire if you are aiming this this dutch only has the extra damage if you if you hip fire so i think assault for damage is a little better but this guy is just too, too tanky he's like a support a better a, a support that can do a lot of more damage pretty much it because yeah because of the extra uh, damage resistance he becomes pretty much a support a fast he's a fast support that can do damage yeah he's a pay to win to dlc that's pretty much my opinion uh here's my dutch old dutch 25 sniper i think that 87 will probably be a better sniper class especially if you put reckless but i just like dutch 25 he's my favorite character like character in-game character he's my favorite character there's not many characters but still uh, he's just my favorite uh and he, he he and assault are my favorite classes i just like them so it's the same thing here as i have show in my i i call this one predator killer just for funsies yeah I, that's how i named him it's the same thing but with the with the souls and i put overseer because that is not gonna work and i think over overseer is just very useful to be able to survive more like if i had if i had like a sniper i would put sniper specialization for damage but i think that overseer is it's good it's decent it's a decent specialization so i can gain more hp as the mission go on so increase survivability and uh, the gear points uh, uh, and the gear head and things can also gonna help survivability a lot so this, this is the same thing just a sniper build for dutch 25. now let's talk about the recon class the strength of the recon class are its spare points and its spot duration mainly of course you can you have you can you like uh dutch 25 you have the mother cover duration uh boost where you can mud up fast you stay mother for long but i think the main strength is its spot duration when you spot the predator he stays spotted i think for two seconds more in a way to maximize it and actually pretty much break the game you're like gonna you're gonna break the game apart is by putting tracker because tracker is a, a perk that increases the time that the predator stays spotted 
And when you are already using a class that has a, a longer spot duration, you put this on top of it, it just becomes it becomes broken. It's like the predator stays spotted for like nine seconds because like normal spotting is like four, with the recon is six, and the tracker I think increases three seconds, so it becomes nine seconds. So like the predator stays spotted for nine seconds. Like for nine seconds, everybody knows where the predator is. Everybody can shoot him, and he cannot do shit about it. I think this kind of game, it's, it's like breaks the game balancing. And the, and, and the fact that you can have uh, 15 parry points allows you to bring this because uh, other classes will probably not going to be worth it because Tracker costs 6 parry points. So most of the classes won't be able to use this. And if like if you bring Tracker, you won't be able to bring uh, other packs that might be more useful for your survivability. But with Recon, you can bring Tracker and have Gearhead and Tickskin together to be able to have more HP, more more Cirrets. So, they, I think it, and it's overall more useful because it's when the Tracker becomes more of a problem against the Predator uh, when it stacks with Recon's passive. Like, if, if you put Tracker on the other classes, it's not gonna be as much, uh, as much of a problem as it is with Recon. Because, yeah, it's so, it's such a mess. It's just very, very broken in my opinion. It's very strong, but that's how you maximize this class. It maximize its strength, its strength is be able to spot the Predator and stay spotted for so long. And also it's why I, I put this spotted specialization, because he's gonna move slower. Like, And, and, and I already have, I have another is a uh, Recon build, which is a Sniper a sniper Recon build, which is Sniper, because I, I think for Recon... For Recon there is, uh, there is like, I, I will show you guys for Recon, two, two builds that I have for Recon, and I cannot see which one is better, it depends on the situation. <coughs> This one here, oh yeah, another thing about the Recon is that oh, he, the weakness are that he doesn't have more, much HP, he cannot carry much gear, but the, the other, other strengths about him is that he's fast, he has a good amount of stamina, a good amount of speed, he's faster than the Assault, not as fast as the Scout, but he's like in the middle there, but the, the main strength, like even if he was slow as fuck, even if his stamina and movement speed were bad, it doesn't matter, the main strength is the spot duration, which is insane. So, to maximize that even more, I brought the PDL, because the PDL threw these little mines, that when the predator comes close, he gets spotted. And that's gonna make him spotted for 9 fucking seconds. So, yeah, this is a build here. Uh, I, this, in my opinion, this can be the, the most overpowered build in the game, because, like, uh, if the predator is always spotted, he cannot do shit. He cannot fight you because he's spotted, he's probably gonna have to wait for the spotting to go away. And while he has to wait for the spotting to go away, the, the fighting can just do the mission and leave. You know, because he's just constantly spotted. Everybody knows where he is. Everybody shoots him. There is no element of surprise. The predator cannot come close. Like, and, and while he, even while he's spotted, he moves slower. But I feel like this build here is more useful when you're playing a team. Like, if you are in a primate thing and you bring this, and the other guys are using assault support to bring to resources, like they have medkits, ammo, and the other ones can do damage. You just have to spot the predator, and the predator is fuck it. Like, if you have other guys to do the heavy work of, of, of shooting the predator for you, yeah, the predator is so fuck it, because it's just like 9 second spot is insane, and you don't even have, with the PDL, you don't actually even have to aim, I try to have to, with the work of actually aiming to the predator and actually spotting him, the PDL does it for you. The reason why this might not be useful, very useful when you're playing solo, is because the recon does not have enough uh, gear points to bring like ammo bags and uh, you d with the PDL you don't have much ammo for the PDL if you play alone like this is why it's more useful in a thing like if you if you have like someone to bring ammo for you you know you, the PDL is never gonna end like you can keep throwing keep throwing these forever like the predator is never gonna have a chance to come close he will be, always be spotted and while he's spotted he's gonna be moving slower everybody else will be able to damage him better so it this becomes more of a of a extremely overpowered uh, a build for the recon if you are in a team because if you're playing alone uh, you're gonna probably run out of ammo with for the PDL and, af or, or, and after that you're gonna pretty much like have to spot the predator manually like normally and even though the spotting might get annoying the recon does not have enough gear points to fight back enough enough HP even with thick skin and gear head it, his survivability is not very very good so like in a solo situation if the predator decides to just focus on you you won't be able to do that much if the predator is like half decent because he the predator is going to be able to out damage you the recon cannot do a lot of damage with this build with the sniper he can do but i have another i have another build with, with the sniper specialization so this one here is more focused on being able to be a nightmare for the predator while you're playing on a thing 
because you put this like if you have other guys to do the damage for you to bring ammo for you to bring the resources for you this can be an a, a, a insane overkill uh, because it is mainly about be uh, it's spotting the pride a lot tracker will allow you to spot the pride for nine seconds gearhead and things can all, helps you to survivability you can bring other cooking grenades that's one uh, so a good point about this uh, you can bring other cooking grenades against the predators that the against ghost predators against predators that use the disc the problem is that not having a secondary weapon can can kill you like if you like the pdl is is broken yes but it takes away your ability to have a secondary weapon to help you so you're gonna rely only on your hammerhead and the recon does not have any damage boost so you're gonna have to fight the predators only with the hammerhead alone it might not be enough against a lone situation a, a solo solo matchmaking uh this build can be very uh it's like a it's it, it's kind of like it's a little bit of a glass cannon it can be an edged sword it can help you a lot it can make a make a, it's but, but it, it, it's not good enough I, in my opinion to be able to fight predators 1v1 but it's clearly the most overpowered thing that you can bring when you have like good teammates i'm gonna show first my oldest uh so uh, uh recon build this one is 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 more focused on damage as well so i bring the recon sniper this one can be done for solo because the this one you'll be able to do a lot of damage to the predators, so you might be able to take predators one v one, and also very good for for playing uh, in, in, in with teammates. But the other one, I think that with the PDL, it just becomes like too easy. Like it becomes too easy to spot the predator. This one here is the same pair combination. I have tracker to maximize the spotting of the recon. You have gearhead and take scan to be able to max uh, minimize the downside of of having enough speed. But with with is sniper specialization and the south and being able to bring a secondary weapon that i can actually do damage to the predator it will be able to you'll be able to do a lot of damage as well you can do a lot of damage with the specialization and these weapons you minimize the the downside of not having enough hp with the with the recon by having these two packs together you can bring anti cloaking grenades to be able to attack the predators that that, that use disc and, and ghost and you have tracker to maximize so i think this overall it's a better sniper build a I mean a better a better recon build than the other one if you're gonna because it works both on solo matchmaking you can fight the predator one in one v one situations as well but also because it works in a, in a, against with teammates a lot as well uh, this one here is just like I, I even look at it, I made it for fun because like the, the, the story behind this one is that I was gonna do private matches and we had, we were like we only had four players so like one guy was gonna be predator and I just there was only three fighting players so I was like okay. To balance things out, since you only have like three fighting players, I need to come up with something very OP, and this is what I come up with, and it worked. Like because even with three fighting players, if you have like someone else with a support and another one with a south, and you bring this guy here, uh, you have like someone to bring ammo for you to help you with the healing, and another south guy to do damage to the predator. The constant spotting is just such a broken mess. So yeah, you have this. I have these two builds for the recon class. Both of them maximize it. The the spot duration. They try to help to mini to help a little bit to have a more survivability. But one this one can do a lot of damage to the predator. This one cannot. But this one can be much more of annoyance because of the spotting of the PDL. Now for the support class. The support class is uh, a fat fuck. Yeah, he's the he, the downside of his is how slow he is. He's slow. He has low stamina. He does not have many good uh, ma many perk points, so you cannot put many perks on him. You are very limited in regards to that. But you you can you have a lot of HP. You have a lot of gear. You can bring medkits, both medkits and ammo bags. But if, uh, in, but the main thing that I, in my opinion makes it it's very strong is this: the thing proximity damage resistance. Because while the other ones are close to you, they're gonna have 20% damage resistance. And when you have like a class like Dutch 87, which already has a passive of damage resistance or mud, this is gonna stack up on that. So uh, Dutch 87 has like 180 HP. He has damage resistance for mud, which is gonna decrease like I don't know 10, 20% damage. And with this, it's gonna decrease more 20% damage. So the effective HP of many of the classes when you have like a support close to them. It's gonna be over 200. Like if you have two supports close to each other, and they are both using thick skin, they like they are gonna have like over 200 HP. It's still not gonna be enough for you to be able to uh, be one shotted by the disc. Uh, you still you still gonna be one shotted by the disc. Uh, you're, you're, you're gonna still be uh, the disc with two hits. It's still gonna get you down. Like anything is gonna get down with two hits from the disc. But it's just so much HP. Like uh, any of you guys notice here that I'm using thick skin because again the focus is survivability. Uh, 
I, I there is not much I can do to maximize the lack of damage of the support because he does not have his specializations to increase his damage. He only has it's all, all about support. You have overseer to increase your HP as the mission go on. You have leader to increase the damage of your teammates. You have field medic which increases the revive speed of your teammates. You have comms to uh, that allows you to revive faster. I in this one I go with leader to help my teammates with damage. But I don't have much to do here to increase my damage. That's the thing here. Like, uh, in my opinion, like, to this support, you just focus on its strength. Like, the weakness, there's not much you can do with weakness. You can try to put Bane here, but that costs 6 spare points. And then you're gonna, you won't be able to have anything else. So, in my opinion, like, for this support class, just forget about its weakness. There's not much you can do about the weaknesses. Like, you can, there's, there's perks that try to increase the movement speed or the stamina. You can try to put, like... Uh, iron lungs, like double time, but in my opinion, like the the focus on the support should be just its strengths. You put thick skin, just that you're gonna have 200 HP, and that's just too much. Fast hands will allow you to switch weapons faster, to be able to like if you run out of bullets for the hammerhead, you can switch faster to the pistol. Use the threats faster. So in my opinion, for the what I do for the support, I just focus on maximizing its strengths and the weakness. Fuck them, because like the strengths are so like 200 HP is just so much in this game and like to maximize its weakness of damage just bring the hammerhead because trust me the hammerhead and the second pistol are already so strong in damage even without any damage boost you like you don't need you don't need a specialization to increase your damage you don't need the packs to increase your damage the, so like you can already do a lot of damage just with these weapons alone the only downside now with this build for the support is the, the regards to stamina and movement speed but just forget about it, like the, the focus on support is not supposed to be about chasing Predator, about running after the Predator. Just just maximize its strengths, that's what I do for the support. I just focus on making or being able to survive even more than I can already have with the skin. And if I have like another support with me, that I'm gonna have like the, the passive ability of thin damage resistance, so that's gonna be even more overkill. The, uh, the good thing about support is that you can bring more gear, so I bring medicates and ammo bags, so nobody else has to bring. Like, if you have, like, you can have, like, everybody else on the team bringing uh, anti cloaking grenades, frag grenades, other types of gear that can be more useful, you know? So, for that, I just, I, I bring everything. Like, if I'm gonna go support, I tell the others, I'm gonna bring both medicates and the ammo bags. Nobody else has to bring anything. And this build here can be very useful for both solo and, and, and with a team. With a team, you're gonna... Like your support, like just having a support because of the damage res uh, damage reduction and being able to carry medicates and ammo is already you're like already supported. Just just be, just just have a support in your team already has a lot. You don't even like have to do much damage to the predator. But while you are playing solo, uh, even though you cannot do as much damage as the other classes, you can take so much damage. You bring the resources like to help you, help you, to help yourself survive for longer. That your survivability with this build here is just so high. That even even playing alone, like the predator is gonna have a night uh, a hard time with you. You're gonna be a nightmare to bring down, even without ex any extra damage. First, I'm gonna show another uh, the field asshole because that's how I call the field medic. Uh, this is the same thing, but I bring field medic because uh, field uh, field medic, like I said, uh, specializations were something that were added to the game in last October. Field medic was its most controversial. It has been nerfed. It used back then it, the the guys that are revived by Field Medic used to be revived with even more HP, which kind of broke the game because like every, every time someone got down, he was he was gonna be able to get revived in one second with almost full HP, which is bullshit. Like it became kind of like a, I still think like the the, the revive speed is too high. It should be it, it should be nerfed. But I have this build here with Field Medic. It's that when I see a guy that has used Field Medic against me, and he's he his plane has spread, I use this just so he knows how, how it feels like. So that's pretty much what I use. But yeah, Field Medic and Leader can be both good. Both of them are very overpowered. Field Medic is just so overpowered. But I, I just have a build with support without Field Medic because I don't like using it. This is something that I only use against guys, like I said, that have used Field Medic against me. Because the revive speed is just so high that it's overpowered. So yeah. But both Leader and, and Field Medic can be very good for the support. But uh, support is, is no more for being overpowered because of the Field Medic. But don't use field medic, guys. Just get good at shooting the predator. Like if you guys are good at shooting the predator, you'll be able to push the predator back before he can kill the guy that is down. Like that's what people used to do back before field medic. Like when the, if the predator gets someone down, you actually have to be good at fighting him to push him back. But then they added this shit, this field medic shit, 
and now you don't have to be good you just have to revive instantly like you don't have like there's no risk in reviving someone because uh reviving someone should leave you exposed it should be something that is risky to do while the fred is nearby but with field medic it kind of breaks it kind of breaks the dynamic of the, the fighting you actually have to work for getting someone revived you know you actually have to play smart to be able to push the predator back to you know it, it kind of like reviving should be something that leaves the fighting exposed to be attacked and with field medic it's just so fast like there's no time to for the predator to attack the guy that is reviving so yeah i just hate field medic i still hate it okay the ow fell class uh this class here i say it's like it's like a little bit of a mixture between recon assault and a little bit of support because of more gear points like it's it's i feel like uh, close to assault it's pretty balanced i feel I, assault is still better in my opinion but i feel like it's 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 like another class that i feel like it's very balanced it doesn't have much of a weak points like assault doesn't have much of a weak points in my opinion like I, you can minimize the only the only bad thing about assault is like hp but you can minimize that with just a perk the old dutch 25 has the weakness of being just slow uh dutch 87 just yeah he doesn't have much of a weakness just maybe gear points uh he, uh his scout and recon have the weakness of of not of not being able to carry much gear and not being able to have a lot of hp uh the old w alpha operative it doesn't have much of a weaknesses like uh he has a, he has more gear points than the assault and uh, one less perk points than the assault so maybe i cannot bring the usual gearhead and thick skin that i usually do but still like you put all the profile trainer gearhead and fast hands it's not that bad because like and the good thing is that with gearhead you'll be able to bring three threats three anti grenades and either medicates or ammo bags this is the good thing about this one is like you can not only bring the grenades that i like using so much against the meta predator classes but you can also bring medicates or ammo bags for your teammates so and even for yourself like if, if you're not playing solo you might actually eventually need this if, in case you need ammo or need or need medicates you can bring this so this is one of the best classes in the game for sure just like assault because it's pretty balanced like it, and it's a little it's he it has a little bit less hp than the assault but since he has this yaucha uh, damage resistance bo uh, damage boost uh it's gonna be pretty much the same it's pretty much like assault because even though he has 15 less hp points which damage resistance is gonna be much the same thing and he's faster like he's a faster support which pretty much the same amount of like uh, effective HP because of the damage resistance and he can st he has a thermal suit which makes it harder for to spot so I think that both the older operative and the assault are like the most balanced classes in the game but for him and, and the sniper specialization it's 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 probably better in my opinion than the deadly one because it's 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 15 percent while deadly is 10 and it works for any weapon like you could put I, I put the sniper here because I like I'm good at sniper, but if you're not good at sniping, just put the hammerhead. Just put the hammerhead and you you just do the same thing that I did with the with the assault class. You just put this and it, it, it might it's gonna be pretty much like assault with regard to specialization. Of course assault has assault overall it's better for damage because he has bulk, uh, bulk damage extra and his specialization on top of that. While this one only has a boost from the from his from the specialization alone. But still, he, he's pretty balanced. Like he, he's like he, he, he and assault are pretty good. You can either use him or assault, and your your chances of success while playing both solo and a team are, are, are gonna be great. The, the, this is a very good class for sure because the snipe, uh, the the downside, uh, yeah, like I said, it's so balanced, like so balanced, like assault, which I cannot even call it uh, like a downside. The only downside I could say, oh, he has one less spare points. Oh, but he has more gear to make up for it. So for me, it's okay. He does not have like a passive or extra damage, but his sniper is 15 extra damage, while deadly is only 10. So I think that overall, the OWF operative is pretty good. With this here, I like to use gearhead so I can bring more of the gear, and I can bring a good amount of gear. This one for to give this one is gonna stack up with his passive ability of, of less extra damage. So like uh, at the you're gonna be able to think, think a lot of damage. It's gonna be he's gonna get really, really thinking, and you have fast hands. But also, if you want another build, which in my opinion can be also good, is that like if you don't, if you like don't want to bring that much gear, you can also do this, and it, you're gonna be very much more tanky. You're gonna be able to take a lot of damage with this because he, look, with this, he, even though he has more less HP numbers than the assault, he's gonna be able to take more damage. He has 50 more less uh, less perk points, but the extra, the damage resistance of this of the passive, 
together with the OWU LFL trainer is gonna allow you to be able to be more tanky than the assault. The only problem is that with this build you won't be ha be able to have three threats. So yeah, but it can go either either way. I think both 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 combinations can be very good for this one. And again, like same thing, either bring the hammerhead or the saws, and you bring the pistol. That's pretty much it. It can be either of those weapons. Now for the last class, yeah, it's gonna be the last one because as you guys can see here, I don't have Dante. No, I didn't buy this yet because, well, this is, I, I was so disappointed well, they, when they made this, this thing here. Because I was hoping like for Harrigan from Predator 2, from Royce, from Predators, like a, a character from the movie just like they did with Dutch. Like I was so excited when they released the Dutch. And they released this, like some Hendo made up character that I don't really care about. Because if it's a football player that paid Iphonic to to include him in the game. And also because he has Field Medic. Like you give Field like what are they thinking here? Uh, they gave Field Medic to a class that is faster. That is fast. And it can take damage. So like this is like a this is another pay to win DLC. I wish I wish the Predators DLCs were pay to win because like they are not. Most of the Predators DLC are bad, but you know, you know, that's why it makes me angry sometimes because the fighting can have pay to win DLCs. Like Dutch 87 or, or Dante, but the Predators cannot have it. I mean, City Hunter and Valkyrie used to be better, but they were nerfed after after a while because people complained. But this one, they don't get nerfed. So yeah, I think Dante is a pay to win DLC because not only he's, he can take as much, uh, he has more HP. He's like a support that is faster. And, th and th he has like passives that allows him to take more damage. So like he's pretty much like support. He's a fast support. Like he's a fast support. So like you make you make it's like a pay to win DLC version of the support because even though he has not not has much uh, HP points, the passives of explosive damage resistance and sprint damage resistance will allow him to be to be be able to take even more damage to the support. So like he's a fast support with field medic. So fuck this guy. So no no Dante. I don't care about Dante. So let's talk about Isabel instead. Uh, Isabel has been kind of criticized because it's uh, because she's not a pay to win DLC. That's why people don't like her. <laughs> like I had, a, I saw a lot of complaints about her because she's just she's like a she's like a worse version of the Recon. That's pretty much how people see her. Uh, her weak points is that she doesn't have a good amount of gear points, not a not a good amount of perks, not a good amount of HP, and so like she has just too many weaknesses and and not enough strengths to make up for it. Her strengths would be like the increased damage at range, so you're gonna be want to be sniping with her, with, especially with the sniper specialization to give more damage. But it's situational, like it's, it's it's this one only works if the predator is at a very long range. Like if it's close to you, uh, you're not gonna get any extra damage, so like it's not much worth it. The mother curve direction uh, it can be useful. You can mother faster, you stay mother faster, but it's just not not enough. Like uh, like let's compare it to recon. The longer spot duration of the recon is just much more useful against the predator than increased damage at range, in my opinion. I think that Isabel, like, this is what the best I could come up with her. Like, her gear points are very limited. You can only bring uh, threats in one type of grenade. So I, I brought underground grenades for the same reasons I mentioned before. For gear points, I brought my usual gear head and thick skin because she's like, she just cannot take much damage. So I need thick skin for her. I want gear head from her threats. The good thing is that she has one more perk points. You can use for fast hands. Like it just, she if she had more perk points, you could make up for the fact that she doesn't have any any, any other strengths. But I think that this is in my opinion the best I could come up with her because it, this uh, uh, gearhead and thick skin allows a better survivability for her. Fast hands will allow her to use the threads a little faster to be able to switch weapons a little faster, and Saul's second pistol and sniper allows her to be able to do a, more, a little bit more damage. So that's pretty much what I have for Isabel. This is what is like the best I could come up with for her. I think that it's still like uh, assault is better than her for even for sniping, even though she's like sniper class. Recon is overall better than her because of the recon is better because of the extra extra spotting time for the predator. Uh, assault class is better because of the extra damage. So like she doesn't have much strength. Like she the perk points of her like the, uh, recon has recon. Ha both Recon and, and Assault have better gear points. Uh, perk points, Recon has more perk points. Assault has the same, almost the same, but like it, just one more perk point is just not enough to make up for her weaknesses. And she just have too, too little HP. So like she, even with thick skin, she's gonna go to uh, 100 and 
I think 60 or 65 HP. Uh, you have you need to bring thick skin, otherwise you're gonna get one shotted with her. So like you, it's like a mandatory for classes like scout, uh, recon. It's like mandatory to have thick skin. Like you know, you're not gonna survive for long without her. So I don't. I think that overall Isabelle is not a very good class to run solo. It's kind of too risky. She's kind of a glass cannon. No, not even a glass cannon because she cannot do that much damage. That's the problem. Like she's a glass cannon at long range, at very long range with a sniper. But if you're not a good sniper. Then she is just a, a glass. She's glass. She's glass. Like this is to minimize has her being a glass, but she cannot do much damage. Like there is nothing. Like you can if you put Bane to try to give more damage, you want to be able to break thick skin, and then she's gonna become a true glass cannon. But you can get one shot. And like I said before, right now the focus on fighting players need to be survivability because party specializations can one shot a lot of classes. So yeah, this is the best I could come up for Isabel. Like, just these gears, these weapons. I, I brought the souls because I'm gonna try to be sniping from far. Because that's her strength, right? I mean, her strength is increased damage from range. I might even put the 10x. I thought about maybe using the 10x and try to be always stay very far. To be, but, but it's like situational. What if the predator comes close to you? The predator is not always gonna be from far. Eventually, most predators are gonna come close to you. So, well, I mean, this is the best I could come up with Isabel. But in my opinion, she's just inferior to other classes that could use the Sniper, like the Recon and the Assault. And well, this was it, guys. This is my video on all the classes. Again, let's go by my Assault, my Assault class, my Dutch 25, my Scout, my Dutch 87, my Dutch Sniper, which is the same thing as the other one, my two Recons, which both are very useful for what they are designed to do. This one is just in, uh, to be... A complete annoyance to the predator with constant spotting. This one is, is focused not only on the spotting but also be able to do a lot of damage as well. My two supports, which are focused mainly on insane survivability, will be able to take an insane amount of damage to bring down. My old double profile trainer, which is a pretty balanced class overall and can be very useful for not only giving damage to the predators, chasing them, taking, taking a good amount of damage. Isabel, this is what the best I could come up with. But overall, I'm still gonna say the best class is this one. This is my best build to fight the predators, to fight the best predators in the game. Because it has like its most balance. You can do everything. You have everything here. You can have the damage, you have the, the ability to take damage, you have the ability to bring out the resources. The Dutch is just a little worse because you cannot bring fragments. But overall, both of them are my favorites. Assault class and Dutch 25 are my favorite classes.